and I'm drawing my arm as if it's stuck in molasses. So my whole body pulls my arm, pulls. So it's coming again, not just this, but through my, through my frame, through my frame. And it actually is an educational system that, uh, you know, which would be maybe akin to, to like the Japanese tea ceremony. Like we would all recognize that sole aim is not just to quench your thirst. Part of making gyakuzuki is this rotating of my hip, right? So I'm in sort of hanmei like that, and when I punch, I basically get that motion going like that. But that's partly my obliques pulling, but it's also partly this leg driving. So I'm driving with my leg, and that's all getting behind my elbow. I would say you want that same thing in your kibidach. So it's not as obvious, but when you make this punch, you want to feel that foot pushing that rotation. So again, I'm not just twisting at my hips, but part of that twist is I'm driving off the floor. So I'm pushing down with that foot while I'm pushing out with that hand. So via your training, I think you have various uh, epiphanies. You, you engage principle, you engender your, uh, your movement with a sort of sentiment, even like, for example, bowing like a bow to the dojo or a bow to a fellow student or a bow to a teacher, all have a totally different sentiment designed to help facilitate this sense of connection. So, so my Aikido teacher, Matsugi Satomi, says it, about Aikido, he says it's not I-body-do, but it's rather Aikido, it's that sense of connection. So in my, uh, my effort, in my work, and my traveling, I feel a bit as an evangelist for this approach. You see it? You see that heavy settling? Let that happen with a little acceleration. I tell people, you know, find your own karate. It's not necessarily something you're going to achieve via the institution, but it's going to be through your direct experiential uh, epiphany that you have. So, and as, as an ambassador for karate, I feel very obligated to uphold that so that the next generation can find as much joy in this experience as I have. So I'm basically going like that, putting that right underneath his, his hip. And then what I'm going to do is instead of thinking big old sweep, I'm going to think of, oh, my friend Gabriel's over there. I haven't seen him for a while. I think I'm going to go talk to Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.